So what we have here is part of our on-farm research toolkit where we try to monitor across as many farms and as many states as possible the impact of cover crop residues on soil moisture. And so soil moisture is becoming a bigger and bigger issue for growers in America as we increasingly see drought periods spark interspersed throughout very rainy periods uh, around the southeast. And we're very interested in how cover crop residues impact the water balance for the succeeding cash crop. Uh, to do this, we have a, a, a sensor array here that uh, these are uh, Clima sensors. And then we have ARS designed um, data loggers that they worked with the climate to develop. And uh, in real time, every 15 minutes, we can monitor the amount of soil moisture available to whatever depth we want. For our on-farm trial network, we go down to three feet, which is about in our region, about the maximum we're gonna uh, get most of these crops to be able to access water. Uh, for the growers that are involved in the network, they get a daily update on how much soil moisture is available and we like set up a strip design where they can see if they had cover crops, how much moisture is available to their cash crop and if they didn't have a cover crop, how much is available there. So how do cover crops residues uh, affect water balance for our cash crop like cotton? One of the biggest impacts we have is that the physicality of this residue right here serves as a break to break up the power of the rainfall drops. So here in the southeast, we tend to get downpours more often in the summer than we get a drizzle. And the intensity of that rainfall can come and hit our soil and can create crusting. Even some of our sandier soils are still subject to crusting and crusting inhibits water infiltration. So with this residue, the raindrops are first gonna hit the top of the residue and now it's going to sprinkle more of a drizzle down into the soil surface and give us more of an opportunity for infiltration. We also have the impact when we have this much residue on the soil surface here, which is very typical for what we can raise here in the southeast, is that uh, as water attempts to start to get going across the field with the lateral transport, that we have all of this breaking up its ability to move efficiently and it slows the progress of the water, again, giving us more opportunity for infiltration. So once we start hitting these June, July big rainstorms, this residue is going to help us to get more of that water into the ground for our cash crop. This soil type is a perfect example of what we see in the coastal plain of, uh, throughout the southeast. We have a very sandy soil type, something we think about usually having very high infiltration rates, but many of these soils are still capable of forming a very hard crust that can inhibit soil water infiltration without the presence of a cover crop residue. Another factor when you have bare soil like this in our environment is temperature. The temperature here uh, in full sunlight is far higher than it would be if we're under cover crop residue. That can make a difference early in the season on, on water transpiration from the soil surface.